Stardom is known for many things. Great wrestling, amazing wrestlers, being the biggest Joshi promotion after all. One aspect of wrestling that Stardom is no stranger to is wrestling gear. A wrestler's look is almost as important as their skill in the ring when it comes to their popularity. No matter how awesome The Undertaker is, if he came out looking like the gobbledygooker, he would have been nothing. One aspect of stardom is that the majority of the women have pretty good gear throughout their career, and I'm making another video to rank my top 10 of the current outfits. To make this not confusing, I'm using their current outfits, and by that I mean the ones that are shown on the fighter section of their website. So any outfits that are introduced before or after I am writing this won't be on the list. With the rules stated, let's get to this. We will start off the list with my personal favorite of the Sisters of Stardom. To be honest, I was kind of tied between the three for this list, but at the end of the day, I believe hers is better than her sister's. I know you guys won't agree with me as I did a poll on my YouTube channel and Hannon won, with Hina being last. At the end of the day, this is my list though, so Hina wins. I believe the design and color combo she goes with here gives her the edge over Hanan and Rina. Coming in at number 9 is Miyu Amazaki, someone who started wrestling in stardom shortly before I stopped watching. Her outfit is insanely good. She has the obvious Queen's Quest style of gear that is based off of Io Shirai's stardom gear. I always liked how all of the members were able to put their own personality and uniqueness to it. Here the combination of the darker and lighter blues really meld well together. The feather or wing attachments give it a nice flair without being too much. Also, I'm a sucker for a choker, so A+. Micah makes number 8. Even though I'm not the greatest fan of her as a wrestler, her look has always been fire. I love the traditional Japanese aesthetic, and no one in stardom has pulled from that style more than Micah. Of course, the red really looks good on her as well. I mean, th there just really isn't much for me to stay. I just really like the traditional Japanese style, and she pulls it off the best. Yuzuki, the newest rookie, is number seven. Getting a Konami vibe from this outfit with the asymmetrical legs. What pushes this outfit this high on the list is the pattern. It has the perfect balance of a lot going on, but still very basic. It doesn't feel like too much. I honestly can't even tell you what is inside the circle on her left leg. It's like a weird bow and arrow maybe? I, I, I don't know. Hopefully she will develop her skills to reach the point of how awesome her gear is. Doing this list did make me realize that blue is a very popular color for gear in stardom. Number 6 is Starlight Kid, and I think we all knew she was going to make this list. She has always had at the very least decent gear. Her being the only masked wrestler in stardom also helps make her stand out a lot. Ever since turning heel, her color scheme has been darker. Dark blues, dark purples, black, and so forth. The blues and purples really look good beside each other with a black base here. She also is using asymmetry with her legs, which, as you know, I am a fan of. I'm not going to comment on the mask because she changes them so often there just isn't a point. Natsupoi at number 5 is a complete tonal shift from Starlight Kid. Very bright, warm colors, and a very heavy pixie vibe. Everything about her entrance outfit is magical, and makes you think you are watching a fae walk down towards the ring. Once a robe is off, it just gets better. As some of you might know, my favorite color is yellow. So her having that as her main color is a huge win for me, since there are very few that use that color. She also has a lot of straps that don't come off as stupid, but improve the outfit in the whole, in my opinion. Number 4 is Tam Nakano, and man where do I even begin? The natural flow of the colors here, where everything feels like it's a blend into each other without looking cheap. The weird accessories and attachments that should make it look worse, but somehow make it look better. Tam has always given off the idol vibe when it came to her time in stardom, and I believe she has been able to perfect it while still allowing herself to look like a threat. Suzu Suzuki as number 3 actually surprised me a bit. 
I don't know too much about her as when she came over to stardom, it was when I had already stopped watching. So imagine my surprise when I get back into stardom and this newcomer has the third best outfit in the company right now. I like how her main color is black, with the red being the highlight instead of the other way around. Now, with the design, you might not know this, but tassels. I don't like tassels. I think they always look stupid. But despite this design choice, this gear as a whole overcomes that. Number two is Lady C. And some might be a bit surprised by this. Honestly, when I really think about it, I don't know why I like it so much. It really doesn't fit the vibe of my other picks. It's kind of an anomaly. Maybe it's just the way it looks on Lady C herself. It seems to highlight all of her best features. It really accentuates her long legs, and with her being so tall, the style choice makes her legs look like they go on for miles. Then the top part almost gives me an Espada vibe from Bleach. So maybe I really like this design, or maybe I just really like how it looks on Lady C, but either way, I think it deserves this spot. Ami Sore being number one is a surprise to both me and you. I bet you thought it was going to be Momo, huh? Well, she is still my favorite wrestler, but her outfit just isn't too great nowadays. I never would have thought Ami would top this list when I went to go make it, but here we are. I remember when she first came to stardom, I barely bothered to remember her name. She looked and wrestled so boring that I just called her Green Mirai. When I went through each wrestler and got to her, I just paused and thought, well, damn, she looks amazing. Which is a huge surprise since I don't like the color green, but it works so well here. What pushes this over the rest of the list since it is just a basic QQ style outfit, is the design. I don't know what this is even supposed to be, but it looks sick. And the way she sprinkled red throughout as an accent to the green, she used just enough to not give you Christmas vibes, which is always a danger when you try to combine green and red. Then she has asymmetrical arm coverings, cool strap designs on her chest which lead to a choker, and you have the complete package when it comes to design, in my opinion. So as much as it is a surprise for me to say this, Ami is my number one. Well, there you have it, my top 10 current stardom outfits. What do you think of my list? What would you change? I know everyone's list will be very different. And yes, before anyone has to say it in the comments, how good the women look in their gear clearly had a part. Not for all of them, but I believe it did bias my opinion for Lady C and Ami. So thank you for watching, bye.